Hello there. We're back. And we're what? Do we watched? Uh, I was gonna say we're watching. We we'll, we've actually watched it. Uh, we watched uh, the first movie of the Bloodthirsty trilogy. Uh, the film called The Vampire Doll. Uh, it's like a, a horror movie where like it, the guy goes up, shows to a old crickety house, um, goes see his girlfriend, um, girlfriend died while he was away, uh, but not quite. She's well, she did die, but now she's a vampire who is a yeah is a. There's a vampire now, kills him. Then that guy's sister and her fiance um, go off to investigate. Uh, so this is a kind of non-spoilery version. I will probably get into spoilers if you don't. If you don't like spoilers, please leave. I will probably get into spoilers for this film. So if you uh, don't want spoilers for this film, this film from 55 years ago, 53 years ago. No, 50 years ago. That's the one we got there eventually. Uh, 53 years ago. There we go. Bloody hell. I'm all over the shop. It's late. I got up way too early. Like, too early even for work time. Uh, yeah, it's madness. But anyway. Um, yes, yeah, so it's this old creepy house. The mother of the daughter is creepy. The father is super creepy, he's mute, and is also, I think, deaf, I think I said. I know he had, like, two disabilities. He's, like, uh, mute, or because it's an old film, they say it's dumb. Yeah, mute now. Um, I think deaf. He's definitely not blind, and, like, touch and taste would be a bit of a weird one to be like, well, he can't taste anything. She goes up to people and goes, Hung. Hung. <laughs> I don't taste you. I don't taste you at um, uh, Yeah, no. But so this is like a creepy, kind of very gothic house. Apparently, this trilogy is kind of a thing that is very uh, westernized, even though it's a Japanese film. It's like made by Toho. So it's probably why it came up in my recommendations because, you know constantly searching for Godzilla stuff and it's like I oh, highly have you seen this um it's like the fiance of the sis no the fiance of the sister of the guy who's no the sister's fiance uh no wait the fiance of the sister who's uh yeah the sister of the guy who dies at the start of the film who's a fiance with the vampire lady. Uh, he, the first guy, uh, the sister's fiance, is in a lot of Godzilla films. Like at least six I saw. I was like, ooh, hello. Godzilla, you say? I like me some Godzilla. Godzilla, 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 Godzilla. Um, here we go. I've got a Godzilla connection here. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's like, ooh. Hello, but uh, uh, it's kind of it's creepy and it's it was it's, it's nice because if you don't if you don't like the film it's only seventy one minutes so ultimately you don't waste too much time if you don't like it because it's over pretty quickly so there's that yeah you got even if you don't like it you're like well you know go for an entire film but no I think it's it's generally creepy the Explanation, so I'm going to get into the like spoiler part of it. Um, the vampire is like created from hypnotism from the doctor, which is just fucking wild. He's some kind of he's not a vampire himself, but he because he created her as a vampire is wild. And when he kills, when she kills hit the doctor, she's released from it and then just dies. And then that's kind of the end of the film. It's, f it's, it's fucking wild, this film. Uh, but honestly, I enjoyed it. It's got some good, creepy moments. Uh, obviously, yeah, it shows its age as a horror film, but, you know, I don't think any of it is bad. Um, 
No, hey, yes, it's a, it's a good one. You have to start, you know. How many horror films start with like a missing person? <laughs> Seriously, that is that is a very tired trope, but maybe it wasn't as tired as it was when this came out. Because like I said, it's, it's 1970, so it predates a I think this might be the earliest horror film I've discussed. Uh, there was that one from the 60s, but I know that wasn't technically horror, so... And it was also the... I think it's the first um, non-English film I've done. So, there's that. I think it's, it's pretty good. I got across what I wanted to get across. Creepy-ass vampire lady. Um, and, yeah, she was, she was pretty good. Uh... Uh, yeah, I, I, I can't say anything. I don't think I can. Like, I'm trying to think of anything negative about it, but other than you know, it's a horror film, so people, people be stupid. You just kind of, yeah, yeah. You kind of have to. It's not like terribly stupid anyway. It's not like I'm a, yeah, I'm a do this terrible thing. And you're like, oh, well, why? Why'd you do that? Why are you so stupid? I don't know if it's like that kind of like super stupid. <laughs> All right, I've been uh, burning the midnight oil. Hopefully, I get sleep. I got a four day weekend. But it's enough about my four day weekend. Um, yeah, ultimately, it's creepy. The weird plot of the film kind of falls apart right at the end like this, this weird hypnotism that creates vampires that's not something i'm particularly familiar with but no okay um yeah it's a it was a it's a, it's 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 one of these journeys where you're like well this is this is some kind of wild crazy ass shit but i'm kind of on board with it and like i said if you don't like it well it's over and like 70 minutes so go home but no i don't i don't definitely don't think it's bad i think it's pretty good and i think it for like a film from like 1970 i think it holds up really well as a horror film you know honestly it's uh, it's 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 i don't know if it's one of my favorites i was like that's one of my favorites i'm like mm, is it though um yeah i'm just like it's it's definitely it's definitely a, um, a different take on vampires that I've not seen before. Um, yeah, maybe you like it. I don't, I don't know. I don't. Know. I'm not the boss of you. Maybe you don't. I don't like it. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know if you like this film. Um, I think it's. I think it's got some crazy ass shit that I've not seen. So I've seen it before. Yeah, it's kind of supernatural, but for like through hypnotism, I've not seen that that kind of vampire before. So it's news to me. I don't know if anyone else has seen this before, but yeah, completely news to me. So overall, I'm, I'm going to give this one a thumbs up. A thumbs up for me. We'll see what stacks up to because we've still got two. There's two, two more films on this trilogy. Uh, none of them are like directly connected. They're not like sequels or anything. It's more just, you know, very kind of westerny vampire films. So. Yeah, let's let's figure out what, what they're like and maybe 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 I'll, I'll prefer one of the other ones. But we'll have to wait and see. For now, I'm going to sign off. Um, It's late. I... I think I'm going to go to bed and probably not even bother editing this. I'll probably do it some other time. Uh, so for now, I'm going to leave you all. I'll say live long and prosper. And hopefully I'll see you for one of the next videos. About, um, fuck, what's the next film called? He says as he furiously looks at films. And it is uh, the, oh, fuck, what is it? It's a, uh, uh, Lake of Dracula is apparently in the next film. There we go. That took way too long. It's, oh, there we go. It's that film. I think this is the, yeah, I think this is the film we watched. 
yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just looking at the elements of it. Like, yeah, that looks right. Because I'm looking at that, and there's a lot of dudes in it, and there's not a whole lot of dudes in this, in the uh, previous film. It's like the two fiancés and the mute guy, so not really that. So that's the one we watched. That's the that's the next one, and then that's the third one. Um, I think it does have like a cool. He says, "This is the original and like a new cover for this, which looks pretty good." Um, so yeah, I think it's overall good film. Good film. Check it out if you can. That's the set I think um, was pretty cheap for me, um, but if it's still cheap, so let me know. Let me know if you can track it down. Um, and if you do have any recommendations for any other horror films, give me a shout. I'm always open to recommendations. Um, I, I, I always take any recommendations. Um, we'll get to some horror films. Uh, I do uh, one of these every, well, one of these every week. So we'll get, we'll get to them eventually. There's a lot of them. A lot of them. But for now, I have to say, live long and prosper, and hopefully I'll see you for the next video, which is Lake of Dracula. <laughs> Bye for now.